everybody, I'm Tom Bass, and welcome to 100 Great Action Dexterity Games. Now, a few weeks ago, Sam, me, and Z did our top 10 Action Dexterity Games, and I told them as I made it, I said, man, I could have made a list of 100. They challenged me on that, and so I did so. Now, here's the deal. I... I I don't know. I didn't want to really rank these from 1 to 100 per se. I also didn't include any game that obviously I put my top 10 or that were in Z's and Sam's top 10s either. A lot of those would have made my list. So I could have made a list of 125 probably. But these are 100 more great ones. And so I just broke this up into small sections and we're going to talk about these alphabetically. Today we're going to be doing A through B. So here we go. First is A la carte. A la carte is a kitchen themed game. Uh, from Carl Heinz Schmiel, who did uh, D Mocker, a very heavy game, but this one, you're cooking and you're basically just. The, 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 the thing with this game is you're pouring out of these little seasonings, little cubes, but you don't want some of the cubes. Some of the cubes are bad. So you're trying to get the right ones and pour the right seasonings into your pots. And occasionally you have to flip a pot over too, like a flip a pancake style thing. There's actually a pretty good game here Aladdin's Flying Carpet. Now, I actually don't know if this one's available. In the English market, I got it. Well, I mean, I got it from Germany, but it was just such a neat thing because it's magnetic. the The carpet itself is held in place with a magnet. It's just kind of sitting there, floating, and you're slowly putting objects on this carpet until eventually it's going to fall. It's just a really cool idea. The hardest part of this game is setting it up. Alfredo's Food Fight. This is just a silly game where there is a guy with a uh, pizza pan and you're throwing meatballs at it and he's spinning around in a circle but there's velcro so the meatballs will stick to it that's essentially it you're kind of launching them at this thing it's a uh, that's really the whole game and it's a lot of fun though it's fun to see him spin around and it's a silly game animal upon animal now this is one of the more well-known ones this game has many many different versions there's dual animal upon animal jungle animal there's so many and they all work together animal upon animal is simply wooden animals and you are stacking them on top of each other without making them fall. If you make them fall, they come in front of you. But because the animals all have different shapes, it makes this game a lot of fun for people, for kids. It's a great one for adults to play with kids. Arbos. This is almost a work of art over an action dexterity game because in this game you are building a tree and you are putting branches on the tree and leaves and berries and the whole thing looks really cool but it's also very precarious because at any point it could fall. There's uh, smaller versions and larger versions of the game. They're, they can become very expensive but this is the kind of game you could leave sit up and people come by and go, what is this? Because it looks that good. Ascending Empires. This is a weird one in a sense because it's a, a fairly complex involved uh, action dexterity game. In this one you have a a board where you'll be flicking discs around the board. It's a 4X game and you're exploring and conquering planets and increasing technology and things like that. It's really an unusual style game because usually people want to play these big space games aren't wanting to flick things and, and people who do that maybe not are looking for this deeper experience but people who like both, this is a neat combination. Ah yeah, uh, this is a, a, a cooperative domino setting up game. You're essentially setting up dominoes. You're taking pictures of animals, I think, is the theming of it. But you're working together to set up these dominoes in a line. But you don't want to knock them over. And at the end of the game, you do want them all to fall over. So it's kind of like domino rally or, or those, you know, people setting up dominoes. But there's a, an actual game involved. Balancing aliens. This is one with a board that's going to be kind of tilting around in three different directions. The aliens look like bowling pins. And you're placing them around the outside of the board as it weeble wobbles around. And you don't want anything to fall off. Barbecue Party. Barbecue Party is a silly game. I think you can find this one actually at uh, big box stores uh, where you have a grill. And there's this thing sitting on it and you don't want it to pop off. Kind of like perfection. And you are slowly with tongs placing vegetables on it. And if you get them all on without it popping, then you got to take them off. Eventually, too much pressure, the whole thing pops. Hilarious fun, works with kids and adults. Basket. Now, this is an old, old game. But I had so much fun playing this one as a kid. I wanted to put it on here. This game is a basketball game where you have a ping pong ball rolling around in there. When it lands in, you pull a spring and you shoot the ping pong ball trying to get it into the opponent's basket. You've seen these kind of games at Chuck E. Cheese and things like that. But this one worked really well. It's a big, giant box. It just brings back a lot of fun memories for me. Batik. This is a game where you're dropping shapes into a clear um, uh, shield between the players. 
and the first person to make their piece come out the at the top of it loses. So you have all these shapes. It's very simple. You're just trying to drop them in so that when you've dropped the final one in, you know, that yours fits in there. So you had to figure out the best time to drop in each shape. Simple, simple, simple game, but fun. Battling Tops. Battling Tops has been made into a spectacle at some conventions, but the game itself is a lot of fun. And of course, there's a lot of versions of Battling Tops. They have different ones come out, but the original one where you just wrap the top up and then you're spinning them as fast as you can and seeing them hit each other. There is some strategy to the game probably, but it is mostly just luck and watching the top spin around, but that can be a lot of fun. Beer and Pretzels. This is a throwing game where you're throwing pretzel-shaped pieces onto a table trying to score points. Uh, it's named after the, the trope where, you know, light games were called beer and pretzel games for a while. And that's kind of what this one is. But you're simply just throwing things on a table, which can be fun. Bicycle. This is an amazing racing game. They actually made Roadsters, which was a... I, I'm putting those together here. It's a flicking game uh, where you're racing around a track very similar to Pitch Car. But in this one, there's a weighted ball. And it's, I think it's called the Z-Ball. And when you flick it, you can do curves and things with it because it will eventually stop. And you can do some pretty neat shots with it. Unfortunately, the game doesn't have as many players. It, basically, it's a max of four players. But it is really fun and cool if you can get a hold of a copy. Bonk. Bonk is a game uh, that was, it was a, another version of it. It's called Roll It, I believe, where you're rolling marbles down and they're going to hit an object in the middle, a ball in the middle, and try to knock it into your opponents. Very similar to a game I played as a kid called Crossfire, uh, but this one is a bit slower in some sense, but I think it's actually more strategic. It's also a very big, giant game, so make sure you have room for this one. Boom Bang Gold. This is a game where you're taking little sticks of dynamite, throwing them in a box, and knocking over different tokens, and then as soon as you see gold tokens, you're grabbing them. So the, the, the box has like a a uh, slight recess to bottom, so it, it like bounces around and things. When you're, it's just fun to throw the dynamite in. Brick Party. This is an unusual game in which you are using Legos to build something, except you're blindfolded and somebody is giving you instructions on how to do it. You ever try to follow someone's instructions when building something without being able to see what you're doing? And then maybe not only be able to use one hand or something like that. Really funny game to play and watch. And the last one for this one is Bugs in the Kitchen. This has, uses one of those little uh, e-bugs with the little batteries that they go around. There's little electronic bugs, and there's all courses for them and things. But this one, uh, it, the bug is running around. It's a little cockroach, and you are rolling a die as quickly as you can and rotating these different spoons and forks to try to maneuver the bug into your area or, if you, or into someone else's area. It depends which variant you're playing. Lots of fun. This one has always done really well. Kids really enjoy this one a lot. So Bugs in the Kitchen. All right, well, that's A through B. Tune in next time to see the rest of them. You've been watching 100 great action dexterity games.